Hello everyone, welcome once again to our interview questions for the test automation engineers series beside pains. So today we are going to talk about another important interview question that is how to find broken images on a particular website using Selenium. In our last lecture, we discussed about how to find broken links. In the similar fashion, we'll try to find out the broken images. In case you are not aware on how to find broken links, I'll be sharing the link of same in the eye icon. So please take a look from there. Now let us try to understand the practical demonstration of broken images. So for the current lecture, I'm going to use this particular website. And on this particular website, we have one page that is broken images. So when we'll navigate on this particular uh, page, we'll see some images. So if you will notice, these two images are broken because it is showing some icon like this. So this is the symbol that that these images are broken while this is not broken right now how to locate images on a particular website so what we can do we can right click and we can click on inspect right now in case of links we need to find out all the a tags now in case of images what we need to do we need to find out all the img tag right so when i'll type double slash img i'll see that i have total four images right so this is our first image right so when we hover over here so this is our first image and uh, when i click on this arrow icon this is our second image and this is third and this is fourth and if you will notice that in case of images we have one src attribute right which contains the address to the images right now if for example when we try to click on this i'm unable to click on this right because these are broken images while in case if i'll click on this particular third image i'll be able to navigate to this particular image right so you see i'm able to navigate to this particular image right so this particular image is working fine while these images are uh, broken so let us try to achieve the same using selenium okay so for that purpose let us uh, go to intellij and in intellij um, i am using a maven project where i'm having one selenium library selenium version 4.19 and i'm using rest assured as well last time we used inbuilt java library today we will show use rest assured uh, library right okay now what we are going to do i have created one class broken images right so first thing is we need to launch this particular website so i'm going to write the basic syntax web driver driver equal to new prompt driver and uh, we don't need to download the chrome driver exe and we don't need to set the path of driver exe as well because same is being taken care by selenium 4 itself as we're using the latest version of selenium 4 so we don't need to be worried about it it will download the chrome driver exe corresponding to the chrome browser installed in our system now the next thing is driver dot get right so now i can copy this particular url and provide it here now the next thing is we need to find out all the images so how to find all the images so for that purpose we'll be using the find elements method because using find elements we can get a list of web element right so what we need which locator we can use we can use either xpar or we can use tag name right so in tag name we can provide img so it will give us list of all the image elements right list of all image elements i'm talking about right list of web element we can say and let us give it name image elements so so far these are just the elements which contains the images these are not yet images right now how to get image from this particular element so for that purpose we need to get the src attribute so if you will get the src attribute value that is the image source right or image url right so what we will do we will simply iterate this particular image elements so i'm going to use an ans for loop and uh, this is right side now on the left side we can provide element and element as a variable right now what we can do we can get the source right so using get attribute we can provide src so let me go to the website so this is what we just discussed image is the tag so we got all the images now one by one we are getting the attribute value for src attribute right so we are providing attribute right now we got it 
as uh, we have four images so we need to have four uh, we'll be having four uh, image sources as well so what we will do we'll have to create another list and as uh, this image sources are in the form of string so what we will do let us give it, give them name image urls and new array list right so you will just understand why i did this because we got the image url from each element one by one so we need to store it somewhere as well so what i'm going to do i'm going to store it into one list so after this particular step what will happen is this particular image urls will contain all the image sources right now the next thing is we need to uh, find out whether these images are broken or not so for that purpose we are going to use the concept of rest assured right but as these are in the form of um, list so let us iterate them one by one so image urls this is right side parameter right and as these image urls in the form of string so let us give string and let us store them into one variable image url so this is how the enhanced for loop work from right to left so on right side we have list of elements and on the left side we have single element one by one right or single string url right now what we are going to do we are going to use the concept of rest assured here so you can use anything we can use uh, inbuilt java library as well std big line diamond as like uh, we used in case of broken links but now let us use rest assured dot given and when dot get right so in this get what we need to do we need to provide the image url right because this is the source right so this is what we need to hit and we need to find out the status code for this right so get image url dot status code and let us try to print the same right so what would be the status code for all the image sources right so this way what we have done we have uh, uh, written the rest assured basic syntax so first of all we are doing rest assured dot given dot when dot get after get what we are going to do we are going to check the status quo now what we can do we can print the image url as well so that we'll be sure like which link is broken which image is broken and which one is not broken so let us run this particular program right and see what will happen so it will launch the application and uh, then after it will find all the images and uh, we'll hit them one by one so now let us go here so you see we are getting 200 for this particular image then we are getting 404 404 so the first image is this particular image which is this image right so this is working fine and second image is this particular image and third image is again this particular image and fourth one is working right okay so that's why we are getting 200 so whenever we are getting status code as 200 it means that image is up and running and is in working state and for the images for which we are getting either 400 401 right they are broken images so this is how we can find out the broken images now in the similar fashion instead of get we can use the head method as well as discussed last time that head is also used for the same purpose because in case of head we only get the metadata right so we can use any of the method okay so this is what i wanted to cover guys as part of current lecture thank you for watching i would request you to please like share and subscribe thank you once again bye bye